So guys, I am back with another Power World video and today guys, I've been probably the first in a couple weeks now in regards to a Power World dev, also known as Bucky, also known as the community manager at Pocket Pair. It's actually tweeted out in regards to the uh, future of Power World and it well does seem as though we have new content coming very soon indeed. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so it's been mightily quiet over at the Power World or Craftopia headquarters in regards to updates to the game, in regards to new content coming. And when we got the roadmap, which we'll go through in a quick second, but the what we've been seeing as of the past couple of weeks now, it's just basically patches and hot fixes and basically them trying to sort out the game for the many many issues people are having problems with i mean we got the roadmap what seems like a month ago now uh on it it's stated new things are coming people got super excited about it but what i actually think they want to do is they want to make the game put the game in a perfect state before we see anything that the roadmap is saying that's coming soon uh, i think the game needs to be in a perfect state and it really does i mean xbox players are still having a few problems with it but we also got to remember the games basically made by a small studio um it's still in early access it's still relatively new i mean like six weeks so yeah okay so bucky actually tweeted out this saying six weeks since release and powered has over 250 reviews on steam over a quarter of a million reviews insane still feeling very grateful to all the fans and to those who continue to make such great content and fan art some very cool things coming very soon now obviously we take this as things are coming to the game very soon indeed but very soon i mean he could have just said things are coming to the game soon or he could have said great things are coming but the fact he says things are coming very soon does whet my appetite i will not lie to you so what can we actually expect and when can we expect it now i'm going to straight up state i'd still say if anything is coming uh although we say it's very soon i still wouldn't expect it for probably another month maybe i'd actually expect a further statement in regards to the update that's coming and this new content that's coming very soon before we see that new content i'm probably going to say a month or so uh, but that's me being optimistic there. I'm not going to lie to you. Anything sooner than that is unreal. But again, there are things they need to fix within the game before they drop that new content. So the roadmap, if you've never seen this, well, you've seen it on screen now. Now, in regards to, it says early access roadmap, addressing critical issues, improvements to implement ASAP. I mean, these have been working on for over a month now because I think we got this roadmap about a month back. The planned future updates, this is what we are mostly waiting for. So you can see it states PvP, this is player versus player. I mean, there's obviously going to be official servers dedicated to this. It's probably going to be an option you can incorporate into your custom server, your custom world. Who knows? But this is something I'm really, really interested in. PvP in Power World could go down an absolute storm. Then we have raid bosses end game content now we don't know much about this we just know well what we speculated what we've made up in our heads but raid bosses it sounds cool to me i mean raids by themselves we know i think of destiny straight away when i think of raid or see the word raid but in regards to raid bosses i mean it's probably going to be a boss which takes a certain puzzle or there's multiple stages to it i mean it sounds cool to me but in brackets we can see it says end game content power world to me does need proper end game once you get to the end of the game once you've caught all the pals you've filled out that power decks um it's only really breeding besides defeating the tower bosses and most people would have defeated the tower bosses before the caught all the pals so yeah either or capturing all the powers and defeating all the tower bosses um this is more or less the end of the game for many many players people like myself i'm trying to breed the best powers i can uh so i actually love breeding in this game it's such a great system which they could massively evolve in the future so yeah breeding for me keeps me actually attuned to the game i'm not gonna lie but yeah the game definitely needs end game content there's no two which ways about that 
And in regards to other end game content, they could add in so much more. They really could. Things to grind for, for one. Things to work towards, for two. More powers, which I do talk about, which we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, there's so much I could do with this game. It's unbelievable. You can then see it says Palarina PvP for pals. Now, actually, guys, you actually seen this at the end of a trailer, an early trailer, actually. You actually see like a Palarina where I think it's four, is it four or six? Could be five, I don't know. But they're going off against each other. Like it's a massive battle royal. 4v4, 5v5, 6v6, all just laying into each other while you sit back and enjoy the show. Sounds absolutely amazing. And the fact it's PvP as well. I cannot wait for this. They also say Steam and Xbox cross play. Another massive, massive feature for sure. The various Xbox feature improvements, we've seen some of these already, but I think more are definitely needed. Server transfers and migrations. This is another massive, massive feature. I mean, I don't expect this one straight away, to be honest. Even when we get these PvP, these raid bosses, the Palerina, New Pals, New Islands bosses, whatever, I don't expect to see this with them. But hey, I could be wrong. Who knows? Improvements to the building system. Now, we've seen a couple of improvements in regards to hot fixes, patches, and updates over the past month or so. Uh, but there's still a lot that they can do to this building system and also add things into it as well. I mean, in regards to what we have on offer, we're pretty limited. I mean, yes, we've created some amazing things, that's for sure. But in regards to them adding, let's say, a variety of different wall types, door types, staircase types, fences. I mean, there's so much they can do and add, which I'm hoping we do see in the future. Okay, so now it says new islands, powers, bosses, and technologies. Now, there's actually speculation that the island we've got access to right now is about one quarter of the map that will be unlocked eventually the tree is supposed to be the center and the tree right now for us is top left ish uh, so imagine if that tree is the center and we the scale we have the map we got access to right now is basically the same size which will expand upon the four quarters of this tree surroundings i mean we've got one quarter right now imagine if we get another three quarters of the same size map we have now i mean that will take a lot of filling in regards to powers but they do state new powers are coming now we do know of a certain few powers that have uh, been data mined out in the game uh powers like dragostophy and uh bolt main these are two powers that are in the fold right now and there's loads of details that come with them they were set to i believe uh be in the game on release but for some reason they are not we also see the uh what's been named the dark mutant this is another power people believe this is obtained from near the tree uh it's obviously speculation no one can confirm that but hey that's just three powers we know that are in the, the game's files as of right now but i'm pretty certain there will be many many more and if they do evolve the breeding system too and allow us to create even more hybrids which i do think they'll definitely bring in it's going to be amazing that is for sure they also say new bosses as well these are obviously going to be tower bosses uh, there's plenty of room for new tower bosses there's actually tower bosses in the trailers too that we haven't seen in game yet so yep pretty cool and new technologies again i'll go back to the um a variety i'd love to see in regards to building but there's also many other things too like new saddles for new pals new weapons new spheres we know there's certain spheres in the game as well which will probably be handy in pvp official servers so yeah there's so much to look forward to there's so much they can do and i'm seriously hoping people that they get this right i have faith people i really do but there we have it guys uh, confirmed new content is coming very soon indeed um, and I cannot wait for it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one